Hello, 505. Um, there was a question from a student on the uh, on how to follow the OLTD 505 hashtag on Twitter. So I thought I'd just put together a really quick uh, tutorial on how to do that. So when you log into Twitter, um, I'm just at twitter.com, uh, you don't actually even need an account to do this. You can just go to the Twitter search box. But typically all you have to do is log into Twitter uh, up top in your interface, on the web interface, you have a search box and you can just simply type in uh, OLTD505 with the hashtag and hit enter. And hopefully you should see a, a number of um, uh, uh, tweets that have the hashtag. You'll notice that our, there are people like Michael who are in the class. Um, there are other people from, you know, Rick Schwer here from the University of Saskatchewan. Uh, Jane, who's in the class as well, you know, so there will be other people tweeting as well, a few others who are in the class as well, as you notice here, Jane and uh, Laura and Marika. Um, but basically, that's what you should see. Now, these are the top tweets by default, and that would mean the ones that have been seen the most, have been tweeted the most, retweeted the most, uh, and those will change often. So you'll see them in not exactly chronological order. So you've got 14 hours here, this is the 11th of May. But if you want to see them as they come in, if you click on all, you should actually be able to see them in most recent chronological or uh, yeah, most recent backwards chronological order. So that's how you can track the um, OLTD505 hashtag. Uh, I hope you're able to see that. I'm not sure why you wouldn't be able to otherwise. If you're continuing to have problems, anyone out there, uh, let me know. You can always email me at coros at gmail.com.